Ever wondered what hackers mean when they talk about spoofing or phishing? Curious, aren't we? Today, we're going to be your guide in this intriguing realm, deciphering the cryptic language hackers use. We'll unravel the mystery behind these terms that often baffle even the most tech-savvy among us. By understanding these terminologies, we can not only enrich our knowledge, but also bolster our defenses against potential cybersecurity threats. So, buckle up and stay tuned as we dive into the world of hacking terminologies. To enter the realm of hackers, we begin with spoofing. Now don't let the playful term fool you. Spoofing is a serious cyber threat. It's a technique that hackers use to disguise themselves as someone else, typically to gain unauthorized access to a system. Think of it as a digital wolf in sheep's clothing. For instance, imagine you're receiving an email from a trusted source, say your bank. But in reality, it's a hacker pretending to be your bank. They might ask you to update your account details or prompt you to click a link. Unbeknownst to you, you've just given the hacker access to your personal information. That, my friends, is spoofing in action. Moving on to phishing. This term might remind you of a relaxing day by the lake, but in the cyber world, it's far from serene. Phishing is a form of cyber attack where hackers, posing as trustworthy entities, lure individuals into providing sensitive data. It's like a fisherman throwing out bait, waiting for an unsuspecting fish to bite. Picture this. You receive an email that appears to be from a social media platform, asking you to confirm your password due to a security breach. You click the link, enter your password, and voila, you've been fished. Now, having understood spoofing and phishing, let's move on to something more intriguing. Malware and ransomware might sound intimidating, isn't it? But fear not. Let's start with malware. This term is a mashup of malicious software, implying software designed to cause harm. It's like a digital pest that infiltrates your device without your knowledge, causing potential damage or stealing information. Malware comes in many forms, including viruses, worms, and trojans, just to name a few. Imagine a bunch of uninvited guests crashing your party and causing a ruckus. That's pretty much what malware does to your device. It disrupts your system, steals your data, and sometimes even spies on your activities. Now let's talk about ransomware. As the name suggests, it's a type of malware that holds your device or data hostage until you pay a ransom. It's like a digital kidnapper. Once it gets into your system, it locks up your files, making them inaccessible. The hackers then demand a ransom, typically in cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, to unlock your files. It's crucial to understand that these threats are real and potent. But don't worry, there are effective ways to protect your devices such as using reliable antivirus software and staying vigilant about the websites you visit and the files you download. Well, we've just demystified malware and ransomware. Up next, we have our last two terms. Ready to decode the last two terms? Here we go with brute force and DDoS. First up, brute force. This is a hacking method that involves trial and error to crack passwords or encryption keys. The hacker tries all possible combinations until the right one is found. It's like trying every single lock combination to open a safe. It's not the most elegant method, but it can be effective if the password is weak. Next on the list we have DDoS, which stands for Distributed Denial of Service. Imagine a crowded hallway and someone decides to bring in an elephant. The hallway gets so jammed that no one can move. That's DDoS in a nutshell. It's an attack where multiple systems flood the bandwidth or resources of a targeted system, causing it to slow down or crash. All right, let's do a quick recap. We've talked about phishing, where hackers trick you into giving up your information. We've demystified malware, the umbrella term for malicious software. We've unraveled ransomware, a type of malware that holds your data hostage. We've decoded brute force, the trial and error method of cracking codes. And finally, we've examined DDoS, the digital equivalent of an elephant in a hallway. And voila, you are now familiar with some of the most common hacking terminologies. Remember, knowledge is power, especially in the world of cybersecurity.